Hello Internet and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be inspecting the Huddersfield squads, finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here you might want to hit the subscribe button and keep you bang up to date of all my Football Manager 2018 content as I move forward. Now the game's been out for uh, over 12 hours now. I did get manage to get some rest so I'm now digging into some of the other teams in the Premier League. I was trying to squeeze them all in last night, but I didn't get there. But anyway, now we're going to be taking a look at one of the newest, newest teams in the Premier League, Huddersfield. Um, again, this is just a brief overview, so we're not really digging too much into the, the content. Uh, Pre-season for Huddersfield, Geisley. It looks like you're, you're keeping it low-key over the summer. Nothing too fancy, um, which is good. Play, keep your head on the ground a little bit. Don't get too uh, washed away with this Premier League football business. Uh, baby steps, baby steps. Uh, but anyway, so that's a quick overview. And let's take a look at your budget. You're probably one of the smaller budgets uh, in the Premier League. Uh, you're given 8 million quid for the season. And you, ke you can keep 75% of any transfer revenue you do make uh, of any player sales. And you have a wage budget of 715,000 quid let's just take a look if you do have any wiggle room you have a little bit of wiggle room you can probably push up to nine million but then that does reduce your wage um to six nine four so not much um so this would be a tough order to see if I, uh how does feel push up the table but stranger things have happened let's take a look at your youth squad uh to be honest with you in all fairness I was very surprised to see Huddersfield get promoted in such a such a fashion um Maybe it was a, a, a season too early, um, but no, while you're there, you know, lap it up, get, get all your financial rewards, keep it simple, don't go nuts. Anyway, this is your uh, Huddersfield lineup in the, in the under 20, under 18, sorry. Uh, any standouts here? Um, let's take a look at this fella. I'm just randomly picking some here. Cameron Taylor, centre back, uh, value of 29,000. You know, he's got some promising uh, stats and attributes up at the back here, which uh, which is what you're after. However, the coach doesn't think he's going to make the grade. Can we have a look at, um, you know, bits and pieces here? Probably not. Who is the most expensive player on the books? George Denara. 5'11", striker. Coach gives him a bit more realistic uh, chance to make the make the cut, but to all, all, all honesty, these guys are still young, still with time um, to to make the step up into the under 23s. Now, this is where a lot of um, you'll find a lot of potential. Both players who who might not have made uh, an impression on your previous manager, they might be uh, rotting in the reserves, uh, and you also got some players who have made the transition from the under 18s. To the under 23s but anyway so here we are four keepers on the books uh no real standouts still very promising into defense who's this fella john stankovic 21 year old just shy of three quarters of a million pound value let's take a look at the most expensive player you have in the reserve sean scannell irish player can play across the left and the right of midfield he's currently on loan at burton no no senior caps to his name. Mm, pretty average statistics. Um, I think he's at the right level in the championship. Jack Payne. I think he's at... You think he's at um, ooh, bugger, beat me to it. Oxford. 2.4 million. I wouldn't have guessed that, though. I thought he was somewhere else. I thought he might have been a Berry. Um, but he's he's a promising star. Look at that. He's, uh, how old is he? 22 years old. Look at them stats. They're not bad. You know, I'm looking from this as a from a League One point of view as a Blackburn Rovers fan. You know, I'm I'm looking for potential players that I could maybe bring in to beef up my my team. But yeah, all in all, that's that's what you got. Who's this Brazilian fella here? Denison Carvalho. He is 18 years of age. Was on Arsenal's book at some time. Uh, who's your tallest? Just out of curiosity, six foot six, Joel Coleman. Yeah. Uh, and this this lanky stanky bitch is uh, not far behind him, six foot three. Anyway, into the squad, the main squad. Let's take a look at who we have. Robert Green. I didn't know you snapped him up through. Thirty-seven years of age. He must be your reserve keeper, I believe. Uh, don't get me wrong. 
Uh, I'm not too sure who your starting keeper is. Other key players in there. Tom Ince was signed over the summer. He's rated at 11 million. But the main, the main value in your side is Aaron Moy. Like I said, what a decent player he is. Chris Lowe, he's, he's started also the season pretty decent. He can play anywhere. It looks like he can play anywhere on the left-hand side. That's a, versi uh, that's a versi that is versatility for you. Man, that's a tricky word. Say uh, early doors in the morning. But he can play anywhere on the left. And he's pretty, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a good Premier League sort of statistics and attributes right there. Pretty, you know, he's got a lot of the bases covered. So that's a good signing. This uh, Kachunga, he also ripped up uh, the championship last season. Quality play overall. Got 12 goals last season. My got 12 goals in the two seasons he's been there. Um, and he is around about, he's, he's about to hit his prime. But yeah, not a bad squad. Um, are they are they Premiership grade? I don't know. Um, who's your tallest? You know, I, I've got a thing for tall for tall folks. Philip Billing, six foot five. He's up there with Jonas Loso. He's on a bit of a different colour. Is he on loan? On loan from Mainz. Yeah. So I'm not too sure if you did get a keeper before this was released, but this is what um, it is saying. Anyway, let's scan further into the. Uh, to the Maya here. Let's have a look at the competitions. What did the board expect? Fight bravely against relegation. So put up a decent performance. And if you do get relegated, you might still be in a job. Uh, FA Cup reached the fourth round. You're entering the third round. So basically jump over one hurdle. So, um, and then you've uh, reached that um, expectation. And the League Cup, they want you to get into the third round again. One win and you've managed to succeed there. So... You know, this this would be a good starting point for any manager, I feel. So look at the team report. In other videos, you might want to might want to pause the video right here, and then you can take a look at this text. Here's a lot of text for you to read. Squad depth. So this is a quick overview of you know positions that you've you've got numbers in. Obviously, midfield and up front. More you've got more wiggle room there than you do in, in the back. Uh, definitely goalkeepers there an area you probably want to look at and maybe maybe defense. Um, this guy. Is it this guy? He was bought in on big money. And the Portois, I think he's he's touted to go to the World Cup. Hopefully he can uh, it's actually quite a lot of competition for him to go to the World Cup. But I think he can if he can, you know, do the business for Huddersfield Hill you know, give them just cause to, to go. Anyway, that's your, your squad depth. Let's uh, take a look at your team report, maybe. Oh, I've done that already. Let's take a look at your dynamics. Very good atmosphere. Obviously, after get promotion, you, you, you're you going to be pretty good. These are your players who I would consider leaders. Tommy Smith. Then you got, uh, if he were to move on or injury or get wiped out for the season, then you'd be looking at these two fellas um, to take over the reins as possible. Skipper. Social groups, this major core of players, I think there's 10 players up here. These would be ones that you'd be looking to become mentors or tutors or whatever they want. Um, obviously, these guys need to, to become more adjusted to the new environments having arrived in the club. Overall happiness, Jonathan Hogg, despite his injury, he's in perfect morale. Good spirits for him. Um, and overall, nothing too concerning. Maybe this guy... You know, he's on alone. Maybe he's a bit unsure, a bit unsure about his future. So that's that's uh, worrisome. And Aaron Moore, he's just okay. That's not good. Big money signing. Eight million, I think, in the real world. Um, but yeah, not bad. Not a bad setup you got here. Should be good enough to stay in the Premier League if you play your cards right. You Looks like they got their head screwed on with the, the pre-season. Um, but that's pretty much all I've got for you there. If there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next day or so. Uh, and if there's a team out there, maybe you want me to check out Forest Green or someone from Japan. Just let me know. Put a put a scribble in the comments below. Um, but yeah, uh, as, as, as the craziness does die down from the beta and the actual release of FM18, I do plan to do some game saves. Any suggestions, chuck them in the comments. And again, I will consider them. But I do have some in the pipeline that I'd like to uh, give a crack. But until next time. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.